Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of our video newsletter. In this video I want to talk to you about the idea of privacy when it comes to the Baker Act. So as I've mentioned in other videos, once a Baker Act case is filed, which means the facility has filed a case with the clerk of the court seeking to keep you, if sometime in the future you try and seek employment, especially if you're trying to seek employment with federal government, state government, you know, local government, uh, or you're applying for a concealed weapons permit, or perhaps you even have a weapons permit, and now it's been suspended or taken away from you. If you want to prevent that from happening, one of the ways to do that is to make sure that you challenge, that you fight to get out within the 72-hour period. And so, you know, I've talked about the fact that, you know, it's really important to, to try and seek a release from a facility as quickly as possible. So during the 72 hour period, the facility can legally hold you if you meet certain criteria. And, you know, I, I'm, I've t told you that in, in, in many cases that gets abused, but for sake of argument, they can legally hold you for up to 72 hours. If they want to hold you beyond that 72 hours, what they're going to do is they're going to file a petition for involuntary placement with the clerk of the court. And once that happens, there is now an active case. Now, it's supposed to be a confidential filing, which means I can't go and find it. Members of the public can't go and find it. And if there's a hearing, that's going to be done confidentiality. It's going to be done in secret, so nobody else knows about it. But once that petition's filed, there's now a case, an active case, and it can be, fi it can be found. You know, the confidentiality under the Baker Act is not absolute. So one of the ways to try and avoid that, and of course, you know, nothing's 100%, but one of the ways to try and avoid that is to make sure the case doesn't get filed in the first place. And that means you've got to fight to, 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 to get out. You've got to file to seek release from the facility within those 72 hours before the case is filed. And so if you want to discuss how that can be done, then give us a call. I don't charge for a consult. I'm happy to chat with you about how we can help you. With that said, stay safe and be well.